we're living behind dikes. We're living behind quality dikes, which are the shield between us and these uh, breaks in the dike, some of which are minor, some of which are uh, terrifying. A train load of chemicals gets derailed and uh, an area gets becomes uninhabitable. The lakes are being killed, the trees are being killed, the environment is uh, threatened. Technology has turned around and exhibited a ferocious face. Armed with claws and teeth, and terrible. Who would have thought that we could make the planet uninhabitable? Now we know we can, we're doing it. And a couple of decades ago, the public got up on its hind feet and said, we are not going to put up with this. You people that create the technology, create the industrial society, you've got to build good dikes and maintain them forever. To me, it's a more profound uh, fact of life than the Japanese quality revolution. We are in the process of trying to uh, equal the Japanese, and we may well succeed in doing it. We're starting on the way up. But protecting ourselves against the uh, excesses of technology, we're going to be in that uh, from here on. That's my little It's going to be never-ending. <laughs>